Hello, it's John Heaton. Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, review an artist that I haven't reviewed on my channel so far. So we're going to have a look at this album from 1980, uh, Uprising, the last released album of Bob Marley's career. Um, released in June 1980, and unfortunately he died within a year of this album coming out in May of 81. Uh, so, actually, uh, back in the day, I only owned this album and Exodus, um, and then just recently I've tried to discover some of his earlier work because I know a lot of purists say uh, that Bob's earlier work is is better stuff, um, and they they kind of call this album a little bit commercial, maybe, but uh, I, I don't find it overly commercial. I think it's tuneful for sure, and um, had a hit single on it. If that makes it commercial. Uh, anyway, I was quite amused, I was looking at this album, I was trying to remember when I bought it, um, when it first came out or soon after, and I was, this is the back cover by the way, with a picture of Bob and the Whalers, those are the words, and then uh, it's on the island label, and I was looking at it, and uh, rather embarrassingly, it has my friend St. John Agnew's name on it. So it actually belonged to him. And I must have acquired it over the years, or nicked it, or maybe I bought it off him. I really don't know. I can't remember. If you're watching St. John, I'm really sorry. I'll buy you a couple of points next time I see you. Um, that probably explains why I can't actually recall buying the album. Um, Anyway, I love this album and uh, brings back memories of the summer of 1980, which was a glorious summer for many, many reasons. Uh, Bjorn Borg's fifth Wimbledon title and the return of John Lennon to the recording studio being the two highlights for me. Uh, so this album opens with a great cover, by the way. Really nice cover. Um, coming in from the cold. Great band, by the way, on the whole of this album. Um, forget who the drummer is. Carlton Barrett is the drummer. Very good. And Aston Barrett on bass. Uh, I don't know if they're related, but uh, superb bass playing, particularly on this track. And very uplifting, very relaxing album to play in the summer um, this time of year. Coming in from the cold, nice words. The biggest man you ever did see was a once just a baby, that kind of thing. In this life, we're coming in from the cold. Uh, great opener. And then Real Situation is a kind of catchy track. Second up, not bad. Nice tune. Um, inoffensive, nothing great. And then Bad Card is a lovely third track. Um, with very amusing words. Uh, I want to disturb my neighbor because I'm feeling so right. I want to turn up my disco blow them to full watts tonight. And it kind of reminds me of my, uh, when I was in my 20s, I remember looking for flats in London and you know, the estate agent would take you round pr prospective flats and I, I, I was always asking the question, any problems with the neighbors? And of course the estate agent would say, no, no, they're quiet as mice, you know, no problems. But actually what I meant is, uh, would the neighbors have a problem if I were to play loud music, so I don't think the estate agent had heard that kind of uh, question very often. Anyway, um, so great track. We and Them is next up. Uh, uh, it's not the best, it's probably the worst track on the album. It's not terrible, um, so I sometimes skip this one. Uh, work closes side one very strongly. Uh, we Jar People Can Make It Work, Come Together and Make It Work. Five days to go, working for the next day. Brilliant, I love it. And then side two opens with Zion Train. Nice, relaxed track. Not a standout, really, but uh, nice chorus and uh, not a bad opener. Pimper's Paradise is the other little bit weak song on the album. Uh, I tend to skip this one. Uh, but then the next song, Could You Be Loved, was actually a top five single in the UK and uh, very catchy and yeah, m maybe it is commercial, but I love it. Very, very uh, nice sentiment behind it and uh, 
musician ship. Just pause from the plane. Next up is Forever Loving Ja. Uh, not bad, not great. Um, I don't skip this one, but it's uh, not the strongest on the album. But then uh, side two and the whole album closes with a glorious song, Redemption Song, uh, which isn't just one of Bob Marley's best ever songs. I think it is one of the greatest songs of all time. Uh, great tune, great sentiments. Um, old pirates, yes they rob I, sold I to the merchant ships minutes after they took I from the bottomless pit. But my hand was made strong by the hand of the Almighty. We forward in this generation triumphantly. All I ever had, songs of freedom. Won't you help me sing? Songs of freedom. All I ever had, redemption songs. Redemption songs. Uh, brilliant closer to the album. And uh, so when this album is good, it is very good. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because uh, the opening track and the closer are both 10s for sure and Could You Be Loved as well, the single is a 10 so uh, probably my favourite Bob Marley album and I'm going to try and get into his early work a bit more um, Exodus is the other album I'm very familiar with which I love so uh, hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching, see you next time